Hey, and welcome back. If you're watching this video, you should hopefully know that I work as a professional independent recruiter. Recruiters help organizations through the hiring process, locating qualified candidates, and acting as a mediator between the two parties. Their ultimate goal is to get the position staffed with a qualified candidate, providing support through the entire hiring process from initial job postings, to reviewing resumes, to interviewing candidates, and eventually negotiating their employment. As the middlemen, recruiters have the best interests of both the company and candidates in mind. There are two main environments that recruiters work in-house recruiters are typically more experienced and work for a single specific company or organization, managing the hiring process across all the various teams involved. On the other hand, independent agencies are outside recruiters that are hired by clients to fill a specific role in the company. Agency recruiters are typically more specialized and work in a specific area, such as technology or sales. Working for a staffing agency is a great way for complete beginners to get experience in the world of recruiting. Agencies often hire those with little to no experience. As the process itself isn't difficult to learn, it's the individual recruiter's skills and qualifications that matter over everyone else. In fact, in many cases, strong qualifications will trump previous experience in the recruiting sphere if the experienced candidate lacks the necessary skills to be successful in the role. As such, interviewing at a recruiting or staffing agency requires special attention to specific qualities that help you stand out as an effective recruiter. My previous videos have covered how to be successful in a general job interview. For general information on how to conduct yourself in a job interview or how to effectively answer specific questions, be sure to check those out. In this video, we'll explore the traits you really want to emphasize when interviewing for a role at a recruiting agency. But before we get started, please consider liking, subscribing, by clicking that bell, it's completely free and really helps us out a lot. Persistence and resilience. Throughout this video, I'll make many comparisons between recruiting and sales. Being an effective recruiter takes many of the same skills that the best salesmen use. We'll cover this comparison in more detail in just a moment, but keep this in mind as we go through this video. Any salesman knows that no day is the same as the last. One day you might be incredibly successful and the next a total failure. The best recruiters don't let failures get them down. They use it as a learning experience to perform better next time. Someone who is sensitive to rejection and gives up easily will not make it as an effective recruiter. Recruiting is an unpredictable job with many ups and many downs. The best recruiters are flexible and able to go with the flow. It's important to remain driven despite things being out of your control because the process can be frustrating and unpredictable. You need to be able to roll with the punches and take whatever comes your way. Ultimately, recruiting can be a long and even frustrating process. For every successful placement, you might have two or more rejections. You need to be able to see failure as a learning experience and not a roadblock. Show your interviewer your persistence and resilience by responding promptly to their inquiries and keeping in touch with them beyond the interview. The best way to do this is to try to learn more about their hiring process and how far along they are in it, or how long until they have an answer for you. Are there any more candidates to interview? Is there anything preventing them from offering you the job right then and there? Confidence and communication skills. Recruiting is a human-to-human -human business. If you have a dull personality, you likely won't be an effective recruiter. Likewise, if you suffer from social anxiety or get nervous talking to new people, you may have a hard time with the regular duties of a recruiter. Confident, lively communication is key in the role of a recruiter. Especially starting out, you'll be tasked with reaching out to clients and candidates and convincing them that you are the matchmaker they need to be successful in their industry. If you can't sell them on that, they won't want to work with you. Extroverts are attracted to this job for the high level of social interaction and communication. Someone with confidence will stand out as a natural recruiter. Along those same lines, you need to be an effective communicator, both in person and digitally through text or email. You want to build friendly and positive relationships with your clients and candidates. Being easy to approach will make the back and forth negotiation process process much easier and you will leave a lasting impression on everyone that you work with. The strongest recruiters are able to adapt to new and different social situations quickly and make connections with strangers effectively. The more likable and personable you are, the easier it will be to make strong connections. The best place to exemplify these traits is doing your job interview. Be personable, enthusiastic, but polite and professional. If you can demonstrate this to the interviewer, you will surely be able to interact effectively with clients. Critical thinking and intuition. Recruiting is a perfect job for matchmakers, those who like identifying the strengths and qualities of someone and marrying them to the perfect position. An effective matchmaker is able to look beyond the surface level personality and traits of someone and make deeper connections between the candidates and the roles they're applying for. Being a recruiter is all about details. You need to be able to pick out the most important details of a candidate or know exactly what your client is looking for 
for in order to do your job effectively. The ability to listen and apply that knowledge to your hiring process is key. You'll need to dig deep into your candidates despite having limited phone or interview interactions with them. So you need to be on the lookout for positive signs and red flags that might not be obvious to others. Demonstrate your attention to detail by asking pointed relevant questions at the end of the interview. You could prepare some questions based on your research on the company and role, but the best way to demonstrate your critical thinking skills is to adjust your questions based on how the interview goes. Sales and target driven. So here's where the direct comparison to sales comes in. You're selling a service, i.e. staffing, to an organization for or company. You're also selling a role to a qualified candidate. The ability to attract people for these roles is important. Oh, sales is ultimate numbers game. The more people you reach, the more sales you generate. In fact, many beginning recruits are tasked with making a certain number of cold calls or outreaches a day. As such, you have to be sales oriented and target driven. It's important to be motivated in a competitive industry such as recruiting. You will be under pressure to make certain targets and deadlines. Most recruiters work for commissions, so you'll need to put effort into making these targets in order to support yourself. This can be the hardest trait to exemplify during an interview for a staffing recruiting role, especially for a beginner. You want to focus on proving your ability to make targets and deadlines with tangible proof from previous work experiences. Multitasking and organizational skills. Building off of my last point, the amount of work you will take on as a recruiter is significant. Recruiters are usually working on different jobs for different clients at the same time. You will likely be at different stages of recruiting process across all of your clients and candidates. So it's important to have the ability to switch between those at a moment's notice. Recruiting involves a lot of information intake, and output. You must be prepared to take in a lot of information and data and organize it effectively. In an interview, you want to show that you are organized and able to handle multiple tasks at once. Demonstrate this by being punctual and prepared for your interview. Should the hiring manager ask for something, be ready to give it to them in a moment's notice. If it seems like you're fumbling around or taking too long to fulfill the requests, you'll come off as unorganized. If you have experience as a recruiter or working at a staffing recruiting agency and want to chime in down in the comments, any tips about acing a recruiting interview, I'd love to hear from you. Otherwise, if you like this video and want to see more like it, again, please consider liking, subscribing, clicking that bell. Really means a lot, helps us out. Additionally, don't forget to add me at Preston underscore Park as I try my best to post daily. Thank you again, and we'll see you on the next one.